Um, at the end of the podcast, okay. what we do is we put out a little sneak treat, a little sweet treat for Saturdays, where we open a pack of 1990 to 1991 NBA cards. Like an unboxing? Yes. It's an unboxing thing. That's the hack. That's how we get okay. the subscribers to this channel. But- you're a sports guy. Yes. Most of the time I do the NBA packs because okay. they're easy. They're in high shorts. We mm -hmm. can make fun of them easy. But as a sports guy, would you rather do the NBA I know. NFL 1990 Pro Set? NFL 1990 Pro Set for me. Or okay. baseball? NFL 1990 Pro Set because that's where I'll probably know somebody maybe. You know what? Can I tell you something? That's always my favorite pick, too. Yeah. Because that's what I know, the football in 1990. So yeah. what we do is we do okay. two piles. Okay. We're going to open these up. We're going to have a keeper pile and a crusty pile. Okay. The keeper pile, people we know, we love, a Deion Sanders, and Andre Risen. Yep. The un people are, are linemen we've never heard of. And then at the end, Pimp will look it up to see who is, when we find the crustiest of them all, what they're up to. Okay. This is fascinating. This is fun. Okay. It's a really, it's just a real quick segment, but damn, if we find some fun Oh, we cards. have uh, a card for Super Bowl. They do the Super Bowl posters. Super Bowl, what is that? It's 25? Yeah, it's the- No, 26. Pro Super Bowl 26. It's the program in Detroit, which is the 49ers and the Bengals in 1988. Uh, 49ers, Bengals. Wow. Yeah. 1982. Damn. That was all right. That was the first one between the Niners That's and amazing. Bengals. That's some autistic stuff that you yeah. just pulled out oh, yeah. right there. Go Niners. Well, I just know that. Detroit, Michigan at the Pontiac Silverdome, um, Super Bowl 16. And uh, there's the 49ers championship ring. That's sick. Yeah, you. it was one of your teams. Yeah, I mean, that, so is, that, the, is, that is my team. Yeah. I'll, well, I'll I'm, saying, I'm saying a Super Bowl where one of the... A Super Bowl, your team won. Oh, yeah. It does stick in your head a little more than just... All of them. Game. All right, Even Sterling... Even they lose. Sterling Sharp. I don't know. Sterling Sharp. Yeah. Here's the thing about Sterling Sharp. Unbelievable wide receiver, but no one talks about him because his younger brother, Shannon Sharp, okay. went on to be an all-pro tight end and mm -hmm. one of the greatest personalities <laughs> in sports. I had a, a little... Skip. I had a little um, shark like in my fish tank, and its name was... Um, Shannon Shark. Shannon Shark is great. Well, Sterling Sharp, his older brother, was a badass wide receiver okay. for the Green Bay Packers. He was, he was, you know, this is 1990. So this is the year that Brett Favre got drafted. I think he got drafted in 1990 by the Atlanta Hawks. Sterling Sharp doesn't know. Your quarterback's coming. I put that's, that in the keeper. That's a keeper for sure. All right, here we go. I think we have a crusty, a Steve McMichael. Dude, how dare you put Mongo McMichael... <laughs> Hall of Fame defensive tackle. Okay, fuck me. And this guy, Steve a guy I just Michael. dissed a guy named Mongo. You know this guy watches the pot. I'm getting fucked up. Do you understand Sorry, right now? Mongo. He's dead. He died of ALS about okay. uh, a year ago. But <laughs> four horsemen. He was in WCW. I can't believe this. I, Steve McMichael. He was one of the four horsemen. And when you're a horseman, you're a horseman for life. Okay. But all pro defensive tackle, part of the 85 Bears. That that uh the Buddy Ryan defense. Yep. This is an absolute okay, keeper. That's a keeper. We got Al Naga here. I'm not gonna Now gonna... Al Naga, cool name, <laughs> cool gear, even fucking cooler Hawaiian mullet. Wow, that is look sick. at that. That's cool. Oh, dude, that's a guy that puts his big hand on your shoulder and he goes, Don't worry about it, Brada. And you go, I'm fine. I I'm gonna shut up. Played for Minnesota. Defensive end, dude. Big boy. From American Samoa. Yep. For, played at Hawaii, 6'1", 248. That guy, Samoan strength. So we're good, uh, he's a keeper. Nah, I think I'm going to, I don't I don't know him. So oh, Okay, okay. I was just reading off his stats. Oh, all right. Okay, this guy, um, he's, I like his name. I can't believe I've ever heard of him with this name. Tunch Ilkin. What? And it's a Pro Bowl. Yeah. Punch Ilkin. <laughs> Tunch Ilkin. Tackle for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Yeah. He. This is his second Pro Bowl bid. He's from Istanbul. Punch. Okay, all right. That's why. I moved right. to the U.S.'s family when he was two. His mother was Miss Turkey in 1950. Whoa. Yeah, but uh, Tunk Ilk, I bet Steelers fans are. Steelers fans, here's what's happening. Mm -hmm. They're punching the wall right now okay. that we don't know Tunk Ilkin. But he's going in the Krusty Pile. So, yeah. how's that? We got Reggie Langhorn. Reggie Langhorn. Don't know him. Yeah. Old school Browns. Love the old school. I mean, the Browns have the same logo now. 
But back in the 80s, it kind of felt they were really good. So yeah. it just kind of felt different. But I don't remember Reggie Langhorn. And I, I'm telling you right now, the people are pissed. In the AFC North, they are going angry. We don't know any of them. We got a 100% keeper here, Ricky Sanders. Ricky Sanders running back for the Washington Redskins. Yep. Now the uh, Commanders. But he was the wide receiver 1991, the year they beat the Buffalo Bills. So this is right before he wins the Super Bowl. Ooh. He has no idea Super Bowl is coming. That's fun. Him and Mark Rippin. Big fan of Ricky Sanders. All right, Mike Dial. Mike Dial, didn't hear him, but look at this. Tied in for the Raiders. Raiders. I'm saying it like Chris Berman. Yeah. Um, look at this young that, man. That guy looks crazy. He looks but cool as hell. He's got the he's got the he got the bar down the middle of the face mask. Oof. What Old school to that? cool. Uh, some of them still do it, but this is a great fucking that's a good look. Crusty pile, though. Yeah, we got Don Maj Majkowski. Don M Majkowski, if you great 30 for 30 about this. Really? Guy. Which one? His dad wanted to turn him into the greatest quarterback of all time, and he fizzled out. Whoa, so this that's is, a 30 for 30? Yeah. I got to find that. This is the guy that I think Brett Favre replaced. Makes sense. Looks like it. Don Majowski or whatever. But go watch. I forget what the 30 for 30 is called on him, but it's great. Crusty pile. Yeah, this yep, guy, crusty. this is a terrifying man right here. Tony, Cas Tony Casillas. Yeah. Tony Casillas, I remember. I don't know if I want to put him in the crusty pile or not, but he was a nose tackle for the Atlanta Falcons, that old school red helmet. Yeah. I remember his name, but I don't know if it was probably just like Casillas. I have a friend, Polly Casillas, so maybe that was it. You're really good at, at this job. Oh, no, this is, <laughs> yeah. this is just all, I, I, I used to just have, I'm not even good with cards. Right. People give me cards on the road. And they're like, do you know how that much is? You're like, I, dude, we just do this because the person's on my couch and we're like, we'll do <laughs> another video. Well, it's okay. And then Mike Munchak. Mike Munchak, guard for the Oilers. He played somewhere else. This guy's a badass. This guy is a pro bowler. However, I don't, I kind of want to. I, I feel like we shouldn't put him in the crusty pile. I would put him in the crusty pile. Yeah he, yeah, he is crusty looking, though, that bar. I mean, yeah. sometimes the bar down the middle can be not a good look. He no, th we got to save the we gotta save the keepers for real, for like some. Yeah, for real, real yeah. You know, this is our Hall of Fame. That guy, would, that guy would maul us like a bear. No, yeah, he's mad. If Mike Munchak came in. All right, Dave Krieg. Dave Krieg, quarterback. I remember him for the, Saint, for the Seattle Seahawks. That's why, but this is when the Seahawks were in the AFC West. It's really kind of like. What do you care? Do you remember when they used to do the Pro Bowl and they actually tackled and they'd let them wear their own helmet? Look that at that unibrow on Dave Creek, dude. Whoa, dude. That's a good uni. That's crazy. He looks like the lead singer of Song Zahaya. <laughs> yeah. Um, no idea what that is, but. Yeah, it's Jason Molina. It's one of my favorite yeah. musicians. He's just like, I'm like, so it's a choice. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Anthony Davis yes. on the Lakers. You're yeah, like, yeah. You're not shaving that thing. Uh, okay. Jim Jeffcoat. Jim Jeffcoat, isn't that a politician? Look at him, dude. That's like what I think of when I think of late 80s, early 90s football. Yeah. Just, it's that, it, it's the look we were talking about, even though I made fun of the guy for it. Bar down the middle, Wait, Jim Jeffcoat. Also, we didn't even talk about how you're, the quarterback on your team is like the Iowa's favorite son. Oh, Brock Purdy? Yeah. He's unbelievable. Everybody loves that dude. He's very good. He's the best. He's about to get like 40 million a year next good, season. Yeah, good, because he was, he was making not very much. 900,000, still. <laughs> He couldn't afford to buy the lineman gifts right. last year, so Christian McCaffrey bought him for him. That's that's fun. He's about to get. Um, all right, we got a we got a keeper here with our coach Bill Parcells. It was one of the greatest big yeah. tuna. Yep. If not, and by the way, this is New York Giants Bill Parcells. This mm -hmm. is before he goes and coaches the Patriots. This yeah. is before he goes and coaches the Cowboys. This is... Did you see the the two Bills, the Bill Belichick, Bill Parcells? It. That's like a really good doc. That's, That's great. That's like fascinating because it's one time, like Bill Belichick kind of is like a little... I don't like a little intimidated by Bill Parcells. Well, that was his boss. Yeah, I that know. That was like the guy that got him everything. It's just fun to see Bill Belichick, who's always like, I'm the man to be like, that was cool when you did that move. That was pretty He's so pumped. Yeah. When they were talking about that run in the late 80s, yeah. he's, he gets so excited. He goes, I remember you said to Lawrence. It was like, <laughs> it was great. Yeah. He's like, he's like, he's like truly like childlike excitement yeah. talking to Parcells. Uh, okay. And then we got Jacob Green. Jacob Green. Bar down the middle. Which it's starting to look like if you got the bar down the middle and yeah, we don't know it's you. Not good. It sends you right to the crusty pile. And then, and then, then this is a win with the NFL. Hey, two ways to win. Win a trip to Pro Bowl and 
Win a trip to Pro Bowl and NFL memorabilia. They didn't proofread this. Score points towards free NFL merchandise. Do you want to scratch it away? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see, dude. Okay. Oh, I think I got a quarter on me. Uh, so a trip, a trip to Pro Bowl in Hawaii. Oh, boy. <laughs> dude, if you win this, dude, how cool would that be? It would be. Pro set goes, dude, we're in Chapter 5. <laughs> oh, how yeah. did you get this car? Damn! What happened? Incomplete pass. Try uh, again. I'll try, but there's two of them. Yeah, but this one isn't for a Pro Bowl in Hawaii. This one's to collect free products. I don't. Yeah, but if it's '80s memorabilia, yeah. I like to think there is one guy that still has to take calls about these. Extra point. One point. <laughs> All right. All right. We're gonna save these. Yeah. We're fucking. We're gonna win. I'm coming back for you, Pro Set. Um, um, live in Alaska. Yeah. Brooks is special. The oh, the crustiest. Yep. All right. Who do you think's the crustiest? Who Gosh, are we going? Here? I don't. It's just so rude. Which? Who's dead? I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. I Let's think, go with the dead guy. I think if we're gonna go crustiest, and this is just crustiest. me being me, I know he's a Pro Bowler, but I think we need to look into Mike M- Munchak or I'm, want, I. I want to see. I did like, a whole documentary about what happened to that guy. Yeah, so we don't need that. You're right. Maybe let's maybe Mike Dial. Mike Dial. Let's see what Mike Dial's up yes. to. He's a young, handsome man here in the back, and it's D- Mike Dial's D Y A L. 1989, 1999 L A Raiders. But Mike Dial D Y A L. If anyone in the Dial family is watching this, I hope you're all well and you're yeah. healthy. And congratulations uh, on having an NFL player in your family. That's pretty fucking cool. Brooks Whelan has an American Gladiator champion in his family. That's true. So that's how we do that. <laughs> um, it's not a champ. He lost to freaking Will Clifton. Got won a couple episodes. Of sick. Okay. American former professional football tight end who played four seasons in the national. Okay, so he played four years with the L.A. Raiders, the Chiefs, and the Chargers. Played football at Texas A and M. Uh, he's from Texas, so football is life. They don't really have a lot about him. He is 50, currently fifty eight, six two two forty. Can't really find much on him. He's rocking. Yeah, he had two receiving touchdowns, thirty eight receptions total. 640 yards. I mean, the guy played in the NFL. What are you going to fucking... No one... You're not going to... Oh, and the website that had all of his infos, it's 404. But oh. Wikipedia, that's all we got on Mike Dial. Well, but you know what, Mike? We appreciate you. I am your new biggest... He's my favorite player of all time. <laughs> Mike Dial. Wow. I just gave you your first Mike Dial card. That's sick. Not my last. Pretty big. <laughs> I will go find more. Headbang!